we continue our courageous conversation about youth sports injuries in America, this week we're focusing on basketball and ACL tears. These tears are the leading cause of high school sports related surgeries here in the U.S. And women are three times as likely to become injured. Our Daniel Shedd takes a closer look at one case for us and joins us now live with more Daniel. David, Emily Myers grew up like a lot of girls in the Ozarks. She would often find herself at SMS games wishing to be more like Jackie Stiles. She would eventually live out her dream, but her career ended suddenly before the final buzzer. I seriously felt like a piece of me was gone. Like for so long, that's been my life. Yeah, like school's important to me, um, my relationships are really important to me, but through it all, I've had this sport. It's kind of like a relationship, that love hate relationship. Emily Myers never imagined that basketball would break her heart. A lot of tears came from the sport. You could say it was love at first sight. Forever, you know, going to um, at the time like the SMS games with my dad and um, watching Jackie Styles play. Like I want to, I want to do that someday. You know, it was always a dream. And being polite and kind of, kind of shy off the court, I could step on the court and. Um, just, just be someone completely different. It was never even a question that I was somehow going to get there. But sitting on the bench at Evangel University that fateful day, Emily lived her worst nightmare, a season-ending ACL tear. I didn't know what the feeling was. It scared me to death. I honestly can't tell you what, how painful it was, but it was just really scary because I was like, that shouldn't have happened. That shouldn't have felt that way. Or like if you know if you want to play again, we're going to have to have surgery really soon. Lady Crusader basketball fans know her as Emily Akins, and her name was no secret either. Number 22 led the Heart of America Conference in scoring as a junior. She was also the third leading scorer in NAIA Division One up until her injury. I mean, these gals are getting to be. You know, very competitive, very athletic. Dr. Chris Miller is an orthopedic surgeon with Cox Health in Springfield. Uh, most commonly, we'll either take the uh, central third of the patellar tendon or uh, the two hamstring tendons on the inside of the knee and again replace that torn ligament with a tendon graft. The surgery itself typically takes under two hours. But it's followed by six months of rehab. Because it takes that long for the body to turn that tendon into a ligament. The human body is incredible how it can get back to normal, but it was like learning how to walk again. Through the process, Emily relied on her hopes and dreams for senior year. I, I didn't play my whole life to end like this. So I was trying to stay positive, um, but that kind of that senior year was where I was really holding on. Before she knew it, the Evangel guard was able to lace up her shoes, throw on her jersey, and walk back on the court for her senior year. It was a CFO game here, one of the most, like, biggest rivalries. I was so excited for it. I've been playing for a little bit. I mean, the gym was packed. It's about as packed as, like, an Evangel girls basketball game could be. It was fun. I was, I was feeling it. So it's one of those games you just really want to, want to win. Um, I remember dribbling to the paint. And the girl cut me off, and so I went to do a spin move. I just froze and, like, dropped to the ground. And, I, again, I don't even know what it felt like, but I knew right then that I, I tore it again. I knew exactly that, what that feeling was. And everything kind of disappeared, and I was just angry. Her second and final ACL tear. I'm done. And it just became real to me. And, I just looked my dad in the eye, and it was so, it's so hard even to this day to have these conversations with my dad, because um, I know I could never let him down, but I, I wanted to do it for me, you know, but I really wanted to do it for him. According to Summit Rehab, there are 250,000 ACL injuries in the U.S. every year, costing more than $2 billion. In women's high school basketball, the Center for Injury Research and Policy reported over 14,000 knee injuries in the 2014-15 school year, the leading cause for high school sports-related surgeries. I think we're giving them certainly a much, much better knee than they um, would have without surgery, but we're certainly not giving them back a, uh, the knee that God gave them. In the Show Me State, the Missouri State High School Athletics Association reports that females rupture their ACL three times as much as males. A statistic that Emily Myers fell victim to, not once, but twice. It's the hardest thing I've gone through, and I, but I know it's not the hardest thing I will go through. So as weird as it sounds, I'm thankful for it, 
because it makes me realize that basketball has taught me so much more than just those the hard work and the criticism and the discipline that I thought it had, but also learning to, de to deal with complete just devastation. And I, I wouldn't trade that. And tomorrow night, we'll continue our sideline series looking at the prevention of ACL tears.